Hi, in this video I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Logitech M720 Triathlon Mouse. The delivery came in an adequately sized box with a bit of packing paper for protection. The actual product comes in an injection molded plastic packaging which clearly shows the mouse and features. I got this mouse because it can be paired with up to 3 computers using Logitech's proprietary unifying receiver as well as Bluetooth. It also offers on the fly and seamless transfer of control and data across two computers. I don't really need that but would be handy for people working on two different systems. Battery life is stated to be around 24 months and it also offers 8 customizable buttons, a hyper fast scroll wheel and guaranteed up to 10 million clicks. The package has handy little cutout handles to open it along a perforated back. The inner cardboard backing provides a schematic of the mouse and its multi-device feature and folds open to illustrate how to pair it by using Bluetooth. Next up is the infinitely foldable safety, compliance and warranty information booklet. And finally the mouse, which is incredibly hard to pop out unless if you use the handy little pull-out tab which I missed. The mouse looks great and has a nice feel and fits comfortably in the hand. It is a full-size mouse, although not sure if it would be suitable for overly large hands. It should be adequate for most users and should fare much better than smaller format sizes. The left and right mouse buttons and mouse wheel are standard fare for reach and accessibility. The two out of the three side buttons are easily accessible, however one of them isn't easy to reach depending on how you hold the mouse. There is a mystery button above the scroll wheel which I could never figure out. Until I actually made this video that is, so stay tuned to find out. The device is connected with Logitech's unifying nano receiver, which allows any compatible device to be paired using the same receiver and is neatly stowed away underneath the battery compartment. The mouse takes a single AA battery and right next to the sensor is the on off switch. The mouse wheel can be used as a side to side scroll switch and although it does feel slightly awkward it's not something I ever need or use. The hyper fast scroll wheel is quite interesting. It's very fast and smooth, actually too smooth. I was expecting a somewhat more tactile graduated feel, although a much more streamlined feel than typical mouse wheels. On first using it, this however feels like nothing. You might get used to it after a while, but I would still prefer something that gave me some sort of haptic feedback. The wheel continues to spin freely even after you lift your finger off, which could lead to unintended scrolling being carried over to whatever task or window you're switching to. Only way around this is to scroll and then stop the spin before moving on. I found this extremely annoying initially, but then gradually gotten used to it and it doesn't happen as much previously. But it is still a nuisance when your scroll moves over to a new window or in certain cases tend to zoom in a browser tab by multiple factors. That is until I found out what the mystery button does when I fully pressed it until it clicked. It actually allows you to switch between the free-flowing flywheel style and the traditional geared type scroll wheel. Which is just amazing. Now, I started using this mouse with the unifying USB receiver that came with the Logitech K375 multi-device keyboard, so that would leave me with one free USB port. You can check out the review of that keyboard in the card in the upper right hand corner or in the description below. And in order to use multiple devices with one unifying receiver, I needed to install the Logitech unifying software, which has since been updated to the Logitech option software. You can find the link to that in the description as well. So because of this, I wasn't able to check if just plugging in the USB receiver for the mouse would have prompted a software install process. Using the software, the mouse buttons can be remapped. The main buttons along with the side buttons can be reconfigured to various functions. But to be honest, I never had a need for it. Although some people people looking for specific functions in either the OS or particular software might find a use for it. One thing you'll definitely need the software for is to control the mouse pointer speed. The mouse is rated up to 1000 dpi and even with the Windows mouse settings already at maximum, the pointer was hardly moving on the screen. But after setting the pointer speed through the Logitech option software, the tracking is smooth, precise and responsive. Between the hyperfast scrolling wheel and the gear style mouse wheel, there's no option to set how many lines are scrolled. You can either step through a line at a time or superman it up and down. I started using this in the first week of October 2021 and the battery lasted a bit past February 2022. So roughly 4 months with the one AA battery. This was between using both the USB receiver and Bluetooth connection as I use it between my Lenovo Legion 5, Dell Latitude 7410 and M1 MacBook Air. So that probably I'm guessing is taking away from the battery life. But it shouldn't as this is supposed to have an auto sleep power saving mode if by chance I'd forgotten to turn it off and I always turn it off right after turning off the computer. So it doesn't quite last the rated 24 months that was mentioned on the packaging. Initially the hyper fast scroll wheel is a major peeve of mine which made me strongly dislike this mouse and quite likely to upgrade it to something else. But ever since I learned how to engage the wheel mode switch it has gone up several leagues in my book. 
I mean everything else is almost perfect. And I love using this mouse, and how easily I can switch between three devices alone just makes this mouse worth its weight in salt or whatever the saying is. I don't even mind the 4 month battery life, even though it's nowhere near the 24 month claim that Logitech makes. So this is something I would wholeheartedly recommend, which is something I've not been able to say for any product in the last while now. So that's a wrap for the M720 Triathlon Multi-Device Mouse. Even if you don't need a mouse for multiple devices, I would still highly recommend it. If you found this useful, please hit that like button, share the video, and subscribe to my channel as it helps me to grow and put up more videos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.